Hey guys and welcome to your new video on this channel. So today I want to show you how to use my latest plugin Grammar Matters Automatic Grammar Fixer plugin for WordPress. So let me get started and install the plugin. Click plugins, add new, upload plugin, navigate to the zip file you downloaded. Please note that if you download the zip from Code Canyon, you have to extract it and you will find inside also the documentation for the plugin and the installable zip file. So you will have to extract the first zip and you will find the second zip which can be installed on your WordPress inside the zip you downloaded. So after installation, activate the plugin and here you are. You can go to plugin settings now. Here you will see that you have to enter a grammar bot API key. So to get this, click here. And here you have to sign up for grammar bot. It is a free uh, API and free service. You have to enter your email and describe in short your project and click submit and you will get automatically an API key. So uh, grammar bot is a free project and they are offering for free uh, a limited number of API calls to be more precise. If you have an API key, you will get 250 requests per day. So if you want more, you have to contact them and ask for a paid subscription and they will provide you a premium API key. But if you are uh, good with 250 requests per day, you can use this for free and make 250 API requests to check and correct grammar on posts that you publish. So let me pause this video and I will enter my API key and I don't want to show you the API key because it is confidential. So I will be right back in a minute. Okay, so I entered the API key. As you can see, it is not visible. It is a password field, so you will not be in trouble of other people seeing your API key. Okay, so after you enter the API key and save settings, you can jump in and start correcting posts. So if you have the automatic post editing on, on here, then you will be able to use the plugin automatically. So let me show you this in action. Let us create a new post. So let us, let's say, testing post. I am very, let's write happy to be he here uh, and I am not afraid of myself. Okay, so I'm very happy to be here and I'm not afraid of myself. So let's go ahead and publish this. And the post is published now. However, if we refresh this and refresh it once again, so the plugin can make its magic, it is automatically corrected. I am very happy to be here and I am not afraid of myself. So as you can see, automatic running does this. After you publish the post, it checks it and it will correct its grammar. So let me show you this on another example. So let's add in another post. Okay, now let me go ahead and show you another feature of the plugin. So before I write here anything, let us go back here and check the possible options. So the API key that we entered, grammar checking language code. So here you can enter the language code in which the text you wish to check is in. The default is English US. 
Okay, so fixed spaces and punctuation. So let us check this to enable the plugin to also fix spaces and punctuation for the text. So let me uh, show you another example. Test 2. Hello, many spaces. I am a very kind guy. Many exclamation marks. Testing the new feature of the a plugin. Many question marks. Okay, so let us publish this. And let's refresh the post. Once again. Okay, so hello, I am a very kind guy testing the new feature of the plugin. And as you can see, the many exclamation marks disappeared, the many spaces disappeared, the many question marks disappeared. Okay, so this feature will remove any redundant spaces, exclamation marks, punctuations from the text you are uh, checking. Okay, so let us get back here and let me show you another ways to use the plugin. So here you will be able to fix grammar also for title if you check this checkbox or disable checking of grammar for content. Okay, disable activation on posts, pages, custom post types. If you check this, the plugin will be disabled on posts, pages, or custom post types. You can select categories of posts that uh, you don't wish the plugin to run on. If you click this, uh, category list will be shown and you can select the categories where you will not uh, want to, you don't want to run the plugin automatically. And you can enter a comma separated list of tags also. Okay. Where you don't want to run the plugin. Delay post automatic editing. If you want to delay the automatic fixing of grammar after the post was published by a couple of seconds, so let's say 10 seconds, then you can do it here. Use a sync posting method if you don't want to wait for the po for the grammar fixing to finish before the post gets actually posted. You can check this checkbox, and the plugin will uh, allow publishing of posts, and it will do its job in the background. Enable logging and automatically clear logs every once in a while. So the logging section can be seen here. Activity and logging, and if we go here. We have some server info, restore default settings, and the activity log for the plugin. Here only errors should be shown, so if this is empty, it is good. Okay, so let's disable the automatic post editing feature now. So if we save settings now, the automatic editing feature will be disabled. And let's go to manual run. So here is the manual run. This is the same as the automatic editing uh, of the post, but here you will be able to select manually which post that already exist on your site should be checked for correct grammar. Okay, so I will pause this video once again and I will enter the API key here also and I will, back, I will be back to you soon. Okay, I just entered my API key here also in the manual run section also. So, because we have now disabled the automatic running, the posts will not be gra uh, checked for grammar now. So, let us create another post. Test X. Test doing the... Logins functionality. Okay, so here are some many many errors, uh, and now let's give this uh, post a category. So 
let us add or don't add categories let add tags tag one and let's hit publish okay so the test plugin the test post is published and now let's go here in the manual running section and let's run the manually let's run grammar fixing checking and select this test post so the test post has tag one assigned to it so if we enter here tag one then we should be able to select this specific post from other posts that are uh, actually on my test block so if we save settings here we will target the post we created so to run uh, fixing simply select here run post editing and if the green tick appears and uh, it edited the post now let's refresh this and testing the plugins functionality okay so here we can see what options we have here in the manual post editing so grammar checking language fix spaces and punctuations fix title content and here are uh, what post you should select so you can select post with a specific author id author name category name tag name post ids post names page ids page names post parent post type status maximum post to change at once search offset meta key name value search query uh, year query month day order results by uh, sorry descendant or ascendant and order results by these uh, categories okay so as you can see here you can bulk change posts on your uh, site and change and fix a grammar for multiple posts in one run okay so the final feature i want to show of uh, show you uh, that the plugin has if we add a new post keep in mind that automatic editing is disabled so if we write here an example so testing the new post generator and its news features okay now we can publish this and if we check the admin bar here we have a pencil here and if we click it a new button will appear run editing now and if we click and click ok the post will be checked for grammar and rewritten and corrected so let us refresh the page now and as you can see the post was fixed okay so this is all for this new plugin i hope you will enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more news and updates about plugins and until next time have a great day bye bye